Good morning, everyone. A good night of Shabbos. And we are holding here in Parsha's Bahar. And we want to learn a Bitochen message from the Parsha. Perhaps there is no greater Parsha in the entirety of the Torah that revolves solely around the Midah of Bitochen. As we know, this is the Parsha that talks about the mitzvah of Shemitah, where a farmer who works his field for six years, on the seventh year, the Shemitah year, the year that he lets it lay fallow and rests, he makes it hefka ownerless, he's not allowed to do a single thing. He doesn't work the field, he doesn't plow the field, he doesn't prune, he doesn't seed, he does nothing. He lets people, poor people can come in and eat whatever they want. He completely removes himself from the work that he normally does, the efforts that he usually makes, the hours and the weeks and the months that he stays by his field concertedly to make sure that the crops will grow. He leaves it all behind for one year. Why does the Torah ask a person to do such a thing? Says the Sefer HaChinuch on this mitzvah of Shemitah, Yesh ta'eles ache, there is a great benefit to a person who keeps the laws of Shemitah. Nimsa v'zeh adam sheyosif adam bitachayin b'shem barachu. A person who keeps the mitzvah of Shemitah, which means although for six years he farms the field regularly, on the seventh year he lets it lay fallow, the man will add and increase bitachayin into his life. Ki kol ha-maitzah im levavay laseis, because everything that a person usually has for himself, he will He will end up relinquishing his rights to everything. Even though perhaps he has this field in his family for years, maybe decades, and every year it belongs to him and he does what he wants with it to make it produce more. Nevertheless, this one particular year called Shemitah, he gives everything, all of his ownership, all of his yichus, the whole lineage that he has in his fields and his possessions, it's gone at that time. And he follows this law and his entire family together with him and afterwards will keep it as well. They will learn the following message. You should never be a stingy person. And you should never decrease the bitachin, the trust that you have in our Kodesh Baruch Hu. Meaning, nothing in this world belongs to you, everything belongs to the Rebbeinah Sha'ilam. Even the six years that you worked hard, and who could work harder than a farmer? He's plowing and tilling and seeding and watering and pruning and watching over the field and working on his irrigation system and making sure the sun is hitting at the right time and when the winter comes and the frost are coming, he covers up his plants to make sure they don't freeze over and the like. Who works harder than a, than a, a, garden, than a, a farmer in his field? And yet, the Torah is telling us, even with all the years of hard work, don't forget... HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one who made the miracles of growth. Hashem is the one who made it that you can put a seed into the ground and water it and suddenly it's going to sprout forth its beautiful crops that you're going to be able to partake of and you'll harvest and you'll feed to your family and you'll make a parnas, you'll make a living out of it as well. Says the Sefer HaChinuch, the entire mitzvah of Shemitah is a mitzvah bitachin to let us trust more in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the year that the land lays fallow. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu promises us, don't worry, you'll have a bumper crop in the following year, everything is going to work out, you're not going to lose out. On the other hand, you let the land rest and you put your amun in HaKadosh Baruch Hu and you spend a year learning Torah and avoid us Hashem and working on your relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And you teach your children, look how beautiful it is. HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes care of us. You walk away from a year of no work, elevated and invigorated in the Midah Bitochen. There's really many fascinating stories about those farmers over the years that kept Shemitah. And I believe about two or three Shemitah cycles ago, there was a farmer, let's call him Yochanan. He was not particularly very religious and he was convinced 
by the different organizations that encourage the farmers to keep Shemitah, that he should keep Shemitah. Now, keeping Shemitah means you have to become Shomer Shemitah. You have to guard the Shemitah, not work the field. You also have to be a Shomer Shabbos. You have to agree to keep the Shabbos if you want to be supported by these organizations that will help you through the year. And so he took it upon himself. And he had a field that was a very lucrative field for him normally of banana trees that grew in Eretz Yisrael. And that particular year, and in his area where he, where he had his field, there were many, many fields and many farmers that had banana fields where they grew all the bananas that they would provide to Eretz Yisrael and import and export as well. That particular year, and it was a very hard year for him, he was not used to not working, he was not used to keeping Shabbos, but he was doing it with diligence and he was doing it with a, with a, uh, with a mission. That year there was a terrible frost that, that covered the region of the land of Eretz Yisrael where his fields were. And he had heard that all of the fields in that land were destroyed and they all froze over on that time of the frost. And he was living elsewhere at the time and he decided he has to go see what happened. Could it possibly be that he sacrificed himself and his family for the whole year and HaKadosh Baruch would destroy his fields? So he jumped in his truck and he began driving. And as he got closer to his fields, he saw all the surrounding banana fields. And he saw one by one the frost and the cold had certainly come in and destroyed them. All of the trees were brown, the bananas were ruined, they were spoiled, and he was beginning to get the heart palpitations. Oy vey, what is going to be with mine? And as he drives up towards his field, he sees the most miraculous thing in the world. All of the bananas were still in the green color that they were before they fully ripened on the tree. And he looked around and he saw that not a single banana in his field was destroyed. And that year, as everybody else's fields who were not keeping Shemitah got ruined, this farmer, Yoichinan, who kept Shemitah, even though it was difficult and it was hard, but he put his bitachin in the Rebbe Nishaylam, HaKadosh Baruch Hu made a nace, he made a miracle for him, and he protected all of his plants. This is a tremendous Shabbos to be mechazik and bitachin. Look at the verses. Look what a person has to do. Look how much they put their faith in HaKadosh Baruch and they take their faith out of their own hands and themselves and their machines and their skills and everything they've done for the six years to make a living. We realize that HaKadosh Baruch is the one that's taking care of everything. Have a wonderful Shabbos. It should be filled with bitachin filled with insights and the understanding just how close we can come to Hashem, the more that we trust that He takes care of all of our needs. Have a wonderful Shabbos.